Hello everyone, this is Chandler again with the Grace Company Tech Support. And did you know that we actually have tablet specifications on our website? That way you know what you need to run your software on. Let's go ahead and have a look on the website to show you what I mean. In order to find the specifications for the tablets, you first want to go to our Grace Company website. And you can find that by just going to graceframe.com or searching graceframe.com on Google. Now that we're here on the website, let me go ahead and show you where you're going to find that. So once you're on the main page, you're going to notice these tabs over on the right. You're going to want to go to the one that looks like a tablet and says All Automation. We're going to go here and we're going to go ahead and click Shop Automation. After clicking on Automation, you're going to get to this page that's going to have a bunch of options. Um, just basically going over the automation and what you can expect for Quilter's Creative Touch. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down with your mouse and you're going to go down to where it says specs right here on the bottom. You'll go ahead and click that tab. Once you click on that tab, this is just going to take you to another page that's going to go over some of the Quilter's Creative Touch 6 machine compatibility and then some, even some quilting frame compatibility lists. So we're going to continue going down and now we're getting to where it says using your own Windows tab. And this is where you're going to find the specs. So you'll just go ahead and read through here. Um, this is where it's going to give you some of the specifications. I'll just go ahead and read along. That way we can go over those specs with you really quick. So QCT6 will only work on devices running Windows 7, 8, 10, 11, or higher. It will not work with any version of Windows RT. And so when you are purchasing your tablet, you need to make sure you are purchasing something that runs off Windows. The software only supports Windows RAN devices as the spec states. It will not work on Mac, Android, Chrome, Unix, iOS, or Linux. Okay, with that out of the way, the next spec is going to be, you want to get something with a 1.66 GHz or faster processor. Um, that's what is recommended. Processor must be Intel or AMD. It cannot be ARM. Okay, and then the next spec is saying a device with a total of 64 gigabyte hard drive space is recommended with at least two gigabytes available for installation. Uh, we just recommend this, that way you have enough storage space um, for everything in the software and anything else that you want to include. Um, and then the next spec is just saying two gigabytes or more of RAM is recommended um, to run the software proficiently. And then the next spec is telling us a full-size USB port or USB-C port is required. If your tablet uses a full-size USB port or USB-C port to charge, it must have a second full-sized USB port or USB-C port to plug into QCT6. And a tablet is usually preferred when running the software. Okay, next thing is if the tablet has a USB-C port rather than a full-size USB port, a USB-C to USB-A adapter is required to install the software. This is because most of our thumb drives are USB-A type of thumb drives. So if you only have a USB-C port, you will need to get an adapter for a USB-A to a USB-C. Um, so that's what this spec is talking about. The next spec says the included tablet mount will hold tablets with screen sizes from 10 to 12 inches. So if you are getting a tablet, for your tablet mount. Just make sure that you are getting something from the size of 10 to 12 inches. Um, if you get anything smaller or less, you're going to find that it is going to be a hard time getting that tablet to stay in the mount correctly. Okay, so this next spec is saying internet connectivity is necessary for software registration, activation, and card access benefits. This is just saying that you need to be able to get something that has internet connectivity, which is connecting to a Wi-Fi router, um, either that or plugging into a Wi-Fi router. That way you have access to the internet and able to register and activate your software as well as activate your gold card access if you have purchased a gold card. You are not able to do this offline. And then the last spec here is just screen resolution. Uh, making sure that you get something that is 1024 by 768 or higher. That way when you run the software it runs easier and you're able to see everything that you're doing in the software. Some questions that we get asked often after we go through the specs with customers is what tablets do you recommend getting for customers? 
Some of the tablets that we recommend are Microsoft Surface, so any of the Microsoft Surface series, specifically the newer versions, or Microsoft Fusion tablets. We have tested, used, and seen that we have had the most success with running and operating the software on these devices. And with all that being said, that concludes our video. If you have any questions or concerns regarding what you just watched, please feel free to give the Grace Company a call. But if not, quilt on and may your needles stay sharp.